this makes so much sense to me. Now, I'm doing this for family and any interest. Yes, I am cutting my hair and vlogging at the same time. I'm just trying to put out content and trying to make it interesting, you know, show you guys a little bit more about me. I've been cutting hair for about seven years now. I started in high school, um, did it uh, in college. That's what paid the bills in college. Uh, that's a whole different story though, if you guys want to learn more about that and my tips on growing a you know, small biz business, uh, let me know and I'll, and I'll share my uh, my thoughts and my experiences uh, when, you know, cutting hair in college and making money in college and being successful uh, in barbering. Uh, I have, I, like I said, I've been cutting for seven years. I'm not a professional, I'm not licensed, but, you know, I did what I had to do in college to to pay for whatever I needed to buy at the time. So, yeah, but like I said, that's a whole different story. But today we are going to be talking about the Sigma 24 to 70 F 2.8 on Sony E mount, and this is like the best lens I have ever used when it comes to portability, sharpness, uh, focal length. Man, I'm just in love with this lens. And today, I'm just gonna be bringing you guys along me with this on, on a Saturday, um, just so I, like I said, so I could put out more content and make the video more interesting because I don't want to be sitting down in my room talking to you guys about the lens. I want to like vlog it, but also have some cinematic sequences within this video. If you guys like what you see, like I said, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers as soon as possible. I'm trying to get to the 200 mark. Uh, I'm on 184 subscribers, so please subscribe. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And yeah, man, let's finish cutting my hair. All right, I'm like, I'm like 70% done with my haircut right now. Um, still need to do my beard, like blending my beard. Um, right now I'm blending the top with the sides. I think I'm gonna keep the length on top. I don't think I'm gonna cut it. Um, but yeah, man, um, let's talk about the lens. Let's talk a little bit about the lens right now that I'm, you know, finishing this up. Well, the first reason why I love this lens is because of the focal length it has. It's 24 to 70, which it covers, you know, a lot of room. It covers wide angle shots, mid shots, and close ups. And for what I do, it is, you know, the best lens, the best combo. You know, for example, when I'm shooting a music video and I want to do a close-up performance scenes of the artist's face, I, I, I can do that. I can also get a wide establishing shot to set the tone and, you know, tell the story better. Um, when it comes to real estate, you know, I get the wide angle pushing shots, normal real estate shots. But I can also get some, you know, there's people that decorate their houses really well and you want to get those small little details to tell the story of the house and be able to, you know, tell a story. Talk about stories, story is king. So this lens, I think, helps me push my stories, and helps me cover a lot of ranges without having to switch lenses. Alright y'all, 
so the haircut is complete. Right now, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna disinfect all my stuff. Um, make sure it's clean. So next time I cut hair with one of my brothers or someone else, they're ready to go. Um, but yeah, man, um, let's, let me clean this up and then we'll get going with the vlog. All right, so I just got done showering and cutting my hair. Um, but right now, let's talk about the second reason why I love the Sigma uh, lens so much. And that reason is because it's just sharp. You know, even at 2.8, I think that the images are sharp and you, and when, once you put a uh, in post uh, sharpening, you know, it, it just looks amazing. Um, when I export in 4K, when I'm shooting pictures and I take a picture with it, and I add a little bit of sharpening in post. It just makes a huge of a difference and it's super sharp. It's very responsive when, it, when, you, when you pair it with the Sony a7 III autofocus technology. Um, most, of my sh uh, most of my shots besides real estate is shot at a 2.8 um, aperture. So having a lens that's sharp, responsive, and has the blurry background is very important to me. Uh, especially right now, for example, right now it's it's in autofocus and it's focused on me, and there's a little bit of blur behind me, and I think it just makes a huge difference. And I come from a Canon T6i, so coming from the T6i to the Sony A7 III was a huge upgrade when it came to autofocus, and having a lens that's a third-party lens that's not Sony, um, that's affordable and also responsive with the A7 III. It's just huge, man. It it, it has changed um, the way I film and the way I create content on a daily. And this lens does not come off um, off my A7 III. Even when I vlog, I vlog on this 24 to 70 all the time. When I'm capturing B-roll, it's the 70. So yeah, man, this lens has just done a lot for me. Um, the only time it comes off my camera is when I'm shooting real estate and I'm shooting at a 14 millimeter. So you get those wide angle shots, you know, when you're yeah, when you're shooting real estate. That's just a must when it comes to real estate. But yeah, man, this lens is so sharp. Um, very responsive. And yeah, I'm happy that I bought it. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the purchase. I bought this lens like a month and two months ago, and I don't regret it. You know, I do not regret it. I, I was very hesitant at the beginning, but right now, no, I, I just love I love this lens. But right now I'm gonna clean my room. I've been busy with work all week and been tired, so I haven't really had time to really clean. So I have a mess back here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna clean that up. Hopefully later on play some Call of Duty. If not, I'm gonna be watching the UFC fight that's happening today. But yeah, I, I gotta get some work done. I have some edits to do at the end of this vlog and also gotta edit another project for a, a client. So let me get this room cleaned up real quick. All right, so we getting some work done, and um, yeah, uh, let me tell you about the, the third reason why I love this lens. It's just so versatile. Like you could use this on weddings, you could use this on music videos, you can use this for vlogging, you can use this for almost anything. Um, you know, it it's not the best lens out there, but it's good enough in different scenarios, in different situations day-to-day -day use that it surpasses a lot of other lenses um you know for vlogging it's a little bit too zoomed in but you just gotta hold it out a little bit in front of you 
Um, but once you do that, you know, it's fine. You know, when it comes to portraits, it's at 70 millimeters. Usually um, you want to go from 50 to like 100 for portraits. That's the best focal length. But 70 is like right in the middle. You know, it's not too zoomed out, but it's also not too zoomed in. And for example, I'm a, I'm a hybrid shooter. I shoot pictures and photos. So having one lens that can do almost everything is just huge. Like. I just can't get over the fact that this lens does everything pretty well. You know, it's not the best lens, like I said. And no, I'm not a, a professional or whatever. It's just from my experience, this is this is what I experienced with this lens and how much I appreciate what it does for me. You know, this lens might not work for a lot of people, but um, for what I do and what I focus on and the type of shots that I like to get in my style, this is a perfect lens with the perfect camera. Um, you know, they, I'm gonna ramble on, but right now people are talking about the R5 and the R6, the Canon, the new uh, cameras that the Canon's coming out with, with the 8K and the crazy um, color bit signs and all this crazy stuff. And I think I, I'm gonna stay with this Sony A7 III. It just with this pair right here, it's just I, I could see myself using it for another one, two years until I don't know. Sony comes out with a new uh, camera, Canon shoots AK, and it's gonna be an amazing camera. But it's gonna be such an expensive upgrade. I have to buy a new computer to handle the files. I have to buy new glass. I have to buy memory cards, uh, hard drives. It's just so much, and I think that. This pair, the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 with the Sony a7 III, it is the best pair right now. Um, I mean, I really think that this pair is, you know, my go-to for now on. I don't see myself using any other uh, lens unless I'm able to afford more. But this lens is all I need, I think, for now. Um, I want to get... Uh, like a hundred millimeter, but that's just for for macro shots and stuff like that. But in conclusion, I think that the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8 with the Sony a7 III is the best combo because of the focal length, because of the sharpness, and because of its versatility. Um, like I said, you could use it on almost any shoe, and you have enough range of focal lengths to be able to capture your story and tell it in a way that you couldn't with one lens that you know was a 24 millimeter you can but i don't think it's as a as immersive because you can't punch in you can't get wide shots you can't get mid shots you can't get i mean you it's, it's just easier it's in the style of shots that i get and the type of shoots that i do running gunning and trying to be fast and efficient i think this lens and this camera is, is the best combo out there so if you like what you saw today if you would like to see more cinematic vlogs more vlogs like this compared to my other type of vlogs please leave a comment down below and let me know because i really enjoyed making this i think this is my favorite video i've made thus far because it follows me and it shows the progression of the day in a cinematic way so yeah man i'm really excited about this so please subscribe once again follow me on my instagram at caesarjsid and on to the next one peace